Morris at the end of the draw. DJ's hurt. It's good night, Irene. Adriana Marias defeats Demetrius Johnson. Adriano Marias is one of the most decorated and dominant athletes in one championship history. But for Mikino, life hasn't always been easy. This is the story of a child who overcame great adversity, became a world champion, and who now finds himself on the cusp of making history. Abandoned as an infant, Marias lived in an orphanage in his native Brazil until age three. I was adopted with my mother, Ms. Moraes, when I was two years old. She told me it's like love with the first eyes. I looked to her, her looked to me, and boom. And she adopted me, and this love made me do the impossible. With his adoptive mother's support, Marias began training judo and capoeira at age seven, before finding his passions in Brazilian jiu-jitsu and mixed martial arts. Since I was a kid until today, I ask her, hey mom, what do you think about this? What do you think about I accept this fight? What do you think about I signed this contract? Let's go, my son, let's go, you're born for it. Marias began his professional MMA career with a successful run in several Brazilian promotions, putting together a 9-0 record by age 25. Then, in November 2013, he made his one championship debut. Good left hand for the Brazilian. These are super scoring moves for Sadulayev. Marias lost a narrow split decision to Yusuf Sadulayev, but he quickly rebounded with back-to-back -back submission wins. Oh, he's on his back. This is going to be the end. He's in deep on that choke. It's out. Done. He's tapped, and it's over. Oh, this is it. This is that head and arm triangle choke. Oh, you saw there. He almost thought about tapping. It's close. There it is. It's over. This is the man that's going to be fighting for the title against Jay Hay and Stockwio. Those victories earned Mikino a shot at the inaugural one flyweight world title against Filipino star Jehei Yostakio. Ready? Fight! And with another submission finish, the Brazilian left with gold around his waist. After a year-long reign as the flyweight king, Marias dropped a split decision to Kairat Akhmatov in 2015. And we have a new champion! An elation from Kairat Akhmatov! He then rebounded again with back-to-back -back submission wins, claiming the one interim flyweight world title in the process. And Adriano Marias takes the interim flyweight belt. Akimatov, where are you, man? I'm here again. In 2017, Marias met Akhmatov in a highly anticipated rematch to unify the belts at one Kings and Conquerors. Dominance here from Adriano Moraes, avenging his loss last time, the controversial loss, and doing so in style. This time, it was Mikino who sealed the deal to start his second one flyweight world title reign. After my bout, I go to see my mother in Brazil. What she did for me and my family is good. And she's so proud of me because I'm a world champion and I can be an example for the world. A former rival would come back to haunt him. In 2018, Eustachio dethroned Marias via split decision, avenging his loss from four years prior. It's gold for Jay Hay Eustachio! Then, in one's first ever trilogy bout, Marias and Eustachio went toe to toe for the final time on the Filipinos' home turf. This crowd rallying for Jay Hay Eustachio! Yes, Dakuya tries for a choke! It's deafening! The boom shakalaka! A submission attempt from Adriana Moraes. Oh. oh, my word! The body is not supposed to bend that way. The flexibility of the champion! How do you get out of it? The spider's web! Once again, Moraes recaptured the world title, beginning his third reign with a unanimous decision win. Adriano Moraes reclaims the flyweight gold. In October 2018, a landmark trade between one and the UFC saw a legendary mixed martial artist enter the one flyweight world title picture, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. Demetrius Johnson, he is the number one 125 pounder on earth today. I may become the first flyweight world champion. 
here in one championship. I believe I'm gonna defend the one flag against Dimitri Johnson. Body kick! Just bludgeoned that into the body of Demetrius Johnson. The crack reverberated around this massive stadium. I do like the way Marias is utilizing the kicks, especially with that reach advantage that he's going to have. It's going to be even longer with the legs. Staying out of reach of the hands of Demetrius. Almost walked into a high knee there, did TJ. He got caught by Marias. Top position now for the champion. Throws a knee to the jaw. TJ's hurt. It's good night, Irene. If you did it, you know now. It's not a shock to Adriano. It's not a shock to those that have seen him dominate one championship over the last few years. By becoming the first man to finish the MMA legend, Marias cemented his place in history. I was on my back. I was trying to get up, have my arm in there, and he delivered a phenomenal knee and he took me out. I'm totally supportive of these rules. If the rules were reversed, I would have blasted his too. It's like you say, if you don't give the down upon any, they're going to give to you. But in their historic rematch at one fight night one on Prime Video, Johnson returned the favor. Setting traps, Marias. DJ's making slightly smaller movements. Oh, big right. DJ has stunned him. Big knee. That's it. DJ just made a statement. Demetrius Johnson gets revenge here tonight on Adriano Marias. He doesn't just get revenge, he gets revenge the same way. Demetrius Johnson has got his world title in one championship. I can't wait to see the rubber match of this one. On May 5th, Marias and Johnson will meet for a third time as one championship debuts on United States soil. Who will win the trilogy and emerge as the undisputed one flyweight world champion? Find out at 1 Fight Night 10 on Prime Video.